Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today I am going to discuss a new lecture for DevOps profile and it is lecture number 26. The agenda of this lecture is configuring infrastructure using Terraform variables. Variables in Terraform are great way to define centrally controlled reusable values. So let us understand first what is variable. A variable is a value that can change depending on the conditions or on information passed to the program. Say for example, if you have created an instance where instance type is T2 micro and if you feel that our system should be T2 medium or T2 large, then you can change the value only in the variable file rather than in the system. Variables in Terraform are a great way to define centrally controlled use reusable value. The information in Terraform variable is saved independently from the deployment plan, which makes the value easy to read and edit from a single file. You now have enough Terraform knowledge to create useful configuration, but the example so far have used hard-coded value. Terraform configuration can include variable to make your configuration more dynamic and flexible. After following the previous tutorial, if you remember that, we had a directory named terraform-project with the some resources configuration in the file called main.tf and we have run terraform init, terraform plan, finally terraform apply to configure required resources. Now today we will set a resources with variables instead of hard coded. But terraform variable allow to write configuration that is flexible and easier to reuse we will add a variable to define the instance name, instance type, images, etc. etc. Create another file called variable.tf in the same working directory where your main.tf file and provider.tf file is available. Means we will keep all the tf file on the same working directory. Just make a note. Terraform loads all the file in the working directory ending with tf, .tf. So you can name your configuration file however you choose. It's up to you. You can put any name. Terraform will not bother about, your, about the name of the file. It will pick automatically when you execute the command and that is the beautification of the Terraform or you can say smartness of the Terraform. You might get the same question when you appear in your interview. Let's make a folder for our working directory named Terraform variable. Okay, so mkdir Terraform variable. Go inside the Terraform variable. Okay, so we don't have anything over here, right? So now we will create three files in this in this directory. First, main.tf, where we will create our resources. The other one is the provider.tf, where we will select the AWS provider and a necessary key for access. And variable.tf, where we will mention the variable name. Okay. So let's create main.tf. In the main.tf file, update the AWS instance resource block to use the new variable, the instance name, instance type, image name, variable block will default to its default value unless you declare in 
a different value okay so just we'll create a instance resource aws underscore instance we will create web server okay and ami is equal to we'll put wire dot image okay and then instance type is equal to var dot instance type this is instance type is variable this one is a variable so before variable we have to write var dot variable name whatever the variable name you are putting over here okay and similarly for ami uh, amazon machine image so will var dot image so image is image is the variable okay so first it will open the braces over to brass open that one okay and we will uh, put the tags as well tags is equal to open braces okay. name is equal to var dot instance name instance name right we'll close the braces for the tag and then finally we'll close for the instance okay so now let's save it so instead of hard coded we have simply written over here the variable name instance type image and instance name okay now we'll create a variable file variable dot pf so in the variable dot tf the variable name will put over here and will also uh, put the default value okay so just write variable instance name okay you can put the description as well if you want so that it so that it will be clear picture what is this what is this variable for description is equal to value of the tag name okay and the default you can put over here default is equal to it's a web server so we'll put the application server again i forgot to open the brushes over here and we'll close the brushes again copy here rather than typing we'll save the time then instance type okay, spelling is wrong instance name and instance make sure spelling should not be incorrect okay otherwise it will give the error and description type of the instance value of type of instance okay 
and just put over here instance type default value t2 micro t2 dot micro okay similarly we will put the image just copy this is sorry this is instance type instance type and then image we'll take a small variable image value of the image name and image name what you will put over here if you are working in a company then they will provide otherwise you can just for practice purpose you can just launch here uh, from northern virginia okay and check what is the image name image name is this just copy and paste over here right and we'll save it okay so just the match double share about the main.tf instance type instance name and image right okay and then we'll create a provider dot rtf okay so let's copy from the provider dot tf go back to the previous one terraform project we'll use this sorry cd terraform project we'll copy the same because we are using the same right so that's why rather than writing manually just copy a pop from here Era form variable what is the name okay we are in the terraform variable sorry right so two file is there so now we'll create a provider dot tf okay and paste over here simply just save it okay now we have all files now variable dot tf main dot tf and provider dot tf okay apply the configuration respond to the um, confirmation prompt uh, with yes and it will show in the console wh uh, whatever you have defined in the value okay so terraform first we'll put in it installing the latest version 
v4.54 right terraform plan right so it will show here one instance is created so this is the image name the t2 micro so it will show over here as well when you are executing the terraform plan so now terraform apply terraform apply Yes. right so one is added so let's check now in the system console sorry instance so here it is right so application server we have given the application server and it is running initializing basically it will run okay and then the, we have kept the us east 1b so availability, availability zone is 1, 1B, one we have kept it uh, 1 only for because of it is Northern Virginia, right? So it is now created, okay? Suppose you want to change this one. So I will not use here the console and something like that. Only just change into the variable file, okay? And we'll create another uh, instance also. So let's go to the variable file. VI variable.tf. We'll change over here only. We can do anything over. Right. So for example, I want to create one more instance. So let's copy. Okay, and here what I will do instance name change here instance name iPhone gen. Okay, and this is a Jenkins server. Jenkins server. Jenkins, right? And instance type, I will keep Jenkins server with T3, uh, sorry, uh, T2 large or T2 medium, whatever it is. So just instance type gen it would be t2 large or medium medium so here in this uh, variable we what what changes we have done we will keep the previous one as it is we will create another instance and that instance name would be the jenkins jenkins server okay and the instance type for Jenkins server, we will keep T2 medium, okay. And the image name would be the same. Let's keep it as it is, okay. But here we will, we have to change in the main.tf file as well. Main. 
because we are creating two instance so here we'll copy the same and paste over here and put over here gen gen an instant type would be gen and here instance name is gen okay so where dot image where dot instant type gen this is our web server this application server basically and this is our Jenkins server. So let's apply first one will refresh it because it is already created value it is asking yes Yeah, one is added, so let's check now. So here the Jenkins server. And it is a T2 medium. It is initializing and this is already initialized. Okay. So we have created two server using Terraform variable. We can change it as well. If you don't want to T2 medium, then you can put the T2 micro and this one you can put the t2 nano so you can do that let's check now simply we'll change the variable file okay so what we will do instance type we just change over here t2 nano and here t2 micro and rest would be the same so just save it and apply now it will show over here as well if you plan it you can so you can see what changes is going to be done over here here it is you can see over here so this is this is our aws insta web server so t2 micro was earlier now it is changing to t2 nano similarly for the jenkins server okay earlier it was t2 medium and i i am going to update it from t2 medium to t2 micro so it will show over here as well okay so just put yes
so in the industry generally we use the variables terraform variables rather than hard coding this is so simple everybody can learn So two changes has been done, right? So let's check here as well. Yes, so applicant server is now changed to T2 Nano and the Jenkins server has been changed to from T2 medium to, from T2 medium to T2 micro, right? Okay, and rest is the same because we have only using this these variables, name and then uh, instance type, okay? So now one more thing, if you don't want to put the default value in the variable file and you want it to ask the value when you execute the apply command. So what you will do, okay? So just do one thing. Variable dot tf. What I will do, I will remove the value or just put the uh, comment. Okay, so this is our, I'll remove this one. We'll keep only one, one server or even let it be. Okay, so what I will do, I will just remove this value, default value, hash out it. Okay instant tab also will hash out and image name should also be hash out okay but we have to remember the image name so what we will do we will just copy it and keep in the notepad otherwise we'll forget okay so we'll you have hash out the all here also need to hash out it So all values have been hash out. This one will take to micro. Okay. Yeah. So now save it and just execute that command. Terraform apply. So here it will ask the value of the image, right? So image name I have I think yes. This one the image name. Okay. Where dot image. Similarly, it will ask the tag, where dot tag, okay, instance, instance name. So instance name is variable for the uh, web server, right? So I will put application server or you can put the web server as well. Web server, right? And the instance tag, uh, instance name for the Jenkins server. So let it be Jenkins. Earlier it was Jenkins server, I will change the name Jenkins only. And then it again asking instance type, instance type for web server. So web server for instance type, I am just changing the T2 medium. And then for Jenkins server, it should be large t2 dot large so 
so it is creating okay so it was jenkins server was name is jenkins server but i have changed the jenkins only and it will be large it should be large and uh, application server i have changed the name web server and it will it will be uh, t2 medium right yes still modifying yes the two change has been done okay so let's check now yes it is it is jenkins server has been changed server name server name for the web server also change and then this instance app has been changed t2 large and t2 media okay so basically you can change from any way okay if you want to put the default value in the variable file you can put the default value as well and if you don't want to put the variable um, default value in the variable file and you want to just it will ask you when you execute the apply command then you can do that okay so don't uh, i mean just put the value default value hash hash out it or you can uh, even remove that one as well okay simply re remove the default value uh, then it will ask you when you execute the apply command and one more thing that if you want to put all the values in a separate file then you put the file name terraform.tfvars and keep all the values here and variables keep on different file like uh, variable.tf so what happened it will override the default value okay we have the variable file where we have default value and we have created another file terraform.tfvar 
where all the values are there then terraform.tf var will overwrite all the default value so let's see now let's create that terraform.tf var vi terraform dot tf vars okay so here i will put all the values okay so what values would be there instance type instance type is equal to i'll put t2 micro t2 large put it large Okay, and then sorry space then instance name is equal to I'll put the Jenkins server Jenkins server and the image image is equal to I'll put the same image whatever I have copied okay, okay so let's save it okay so what we have the default value in the uh, variable file variable dot tf it's a default value instance name is uh, wave and then the instance type is uh, t2 nano and the image name is the same which i have mentioned over there okay so these two value should be override with jenkins server and t2 nano instead of t2 nano it would be t2 large okay so what what will happen it will override it okay so now just terraform apply terraform apply i'll put yes Okay, so now check in the instance dashboard which one is running. This one is running. Okay, so here earlier, I mean, in the variable file, variable.tf file, the wave server was there, but now I have kept the Jenkins and 32 micro nano was there, so it is override. So terraform.tf var, some, sometimes it requires, so basically it will override it. Okay. So it's a requirement. Sometimes it's required. It will override the default value. So somebody ask you when you are working in a large company and somebody ask you just override the default value with some other values. So the value which you have that you can use the terraform.tf vars. So those values need to be put in this file and it will override when you apply the command. Okay. Uh, just make a note file name where the value is available must be the name as terraform.tfvars if you want to execute the different name of file with extension .tfvars like demo.tfvars then you need to execute the different commands i am showing you so for example we have the name of the file terraform.tf 
tf vars but if you want to change this file name then uh, just put the mb command mb terraform dot tf vars so demo demo dot tf vars okay Terraform, sorry, Terraform. Demo.tf. Okay. So now you have file demo.tf. Okay. So just go inside over there. Demo.tf pass and change some value. Okay. So put over here. Ansible server rather than Jenkins server. Ansible server. Okay, and it would be it would be the medium. I'm just changing the value I wanted to show you in all aspects. So I save it. Okay. So how to execute this command? So just put the Terraform apply Terraform apply and slash var slash file and file is equal to demo dot t of vars sorry vars so you need to execute this command because the file name has been changed Earlier it was terraform.tf vars. Now I have changed it demo.tf vars. So if you change this file, the file must be terraform.tf vars. But if you want to execute with some other names like demo.tf vars or different name, it's up to you. Then you need to execute this command file is equal to demo.tf vars. Okay. So just execute. yes so now it is changing from large to medium okay earlier it was large and now we'll let it complete then we'll check and the ansible server it from jenkins to ansible Yes, so one change has been done, right? So it should be the Ansible server, I think. Yes, it is Ansible server and the T2 medium. T2 large was there, it has been changed with T2 medium. Now there is another process, okay? So when you execute this command, 
it will overwrite to all values okay whatever the default values are there in that uh, terraform.tf file uh, sorry variable.tf file and the uh, terraform.tf or demo.tf wires whatever the values are there so it will overwrite to all values so what i will do terraform okay apply terraform apply and slash var is equal to instance type instance type is equal to t2 micro what it is now it is t2 medium so i am changing it t2 dot micro okay so colon instance type right and then we want to change one more then put slash where is equal to colon instance name instance type is now instance name instance name is equal to uh, ansible was there now ansible application server i'll put the name application server right okay so what it will do it will override to all let's check it yes here and from ansible to application server and t2 medium was there it is changing to changing with t2 micro so we will see in the console as well let it complete So here the uh, apply completed one change has been done. So let's check it in the console. So just to refresh it. So here it is. The application server is changed, and then T2 medium was there. T2 micro. So both has been changed. So this is all all about the Terraform variable concept of Terraform variable. So basically Terraform variables provide many convenient uses for infrastructure management dividing your deployment plan and configuration parameters in their own file help to keep everything in order however that is just the general purpose of terraform variable defining your infrastructure using variable is the first step towards the advanced feature in terraform Okay guys, so we will meet again with the new uh, video. Till then, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, please.